Space Cornish is designed to enhance the ambiguities in human communication. Space Cornish has a number of features which make it special. Space Cornish is not an artificial language, it is a living electroacoustic language to be used in space. Space Cornish has an ambidextrous grammar. Space Cornish has post phonetic spelling and evocative resolution of words into other words. Space Cornish may be difficult compared to naturalistic languages, however it is easy to learn during the extended quality time afforded during space travel. Space Cornish has around 2,374 root words which can easily be combined to form a vocabulary of at least 4,738 new words. Space Cornish is irregular, the rules of the language are exceptional. Space Cornish attempts to remove restrictions on creative and clear thought and communication by confusing the spaces between words with the words themselves. Space Cornish is designed to be used by people in communication with each other, plants, animals and extraterrestrial acquaintances in an airless environment using consumer electronic devices but not necessarily computers. Space Cornish has a variety of uses, ranging from the creative to the post-scientific, from the theoretical to the practical it can be decorative, and is suitable for use in diagrams. There have already been many proposals for an official language of space. Some have proposed English, for reasons of its terrestrial spread over a wide diversity of genetic material. However the sapi hoff hypothesis suggests that learning different languages to your native tongue can enable the brain to cope with difficult information. So it seems appropriate to invent a new language for space travel. We are proposing that Space Cornish be considered as an experimental language of space to be used alongside a multiplicity of tongues. Space Cornish is not intended to be authentic. It can be used alongside other languages, including the modern Cornish languages, in space. Space travelers should not make the mistake of inflicting a restrictive paradigm upon extraterrestrial space. Space Cornish was developed from a cluster of spoken languages which disappeared from common usage around the year 1700 and were never recorded by digital devices. The clues for the pronunciation of these languages were pieced together in the 20th century from existing languages and written sources to create a model for languages that may have been spoken around the year 1500. However in Space Cornish this language is intended to be applied to inventions and discoveries made since the 1960s. The Space Cornish language was developed in the area now known as Cornwall. This was one of the birthplaces of industrial technology and has long been a center of satellite communication and the interception of international communication by government agencies. This makes it the ideal location for creating a new language for space. In our continual creation and recreation of Space Cornish, we intend to create new words for things that there are already words for, or use slightly different words, sounds, or gestures when we consider it appropriate. Space Cornish does not use gender or capitalization. In the Space Cornish dictionary each of the sparse Kernwek words are accompanied by a deviation which is included for decorative effect. Space Cornish is intended to be a living language, its structure and components should, like other living languages, be developed carefully by the non-experts who use it. Space Cornish is intended to be a common cultural language, not a mark of national or racial separation. Our only nation is the imagination and our only race is the space race. To be effective in space, our language should have no fixed canon, it should be in a constant flux. It should also take into account the strong possibility that astronauts on a 2,000-year space mission will have died out long before their space mission has been accomplished, leaving only machines talking to other machines.